you can see it here I removed the ADF cable it was going all the way to the tail I removed that GPS uh, antenna another com uh, uh, antenna here they have three antennas I have two radios I don't know if this told me, somebody told me that was for the handheld uh, GPS oh radio they have a radio the GPS was connected to the uh, regular small GPS they had I don't need it and this one I think I know the radio part of the ADF or marker beacon I don't know but it was too much and now it's a regular 172 with two antennas two radios ELT uh, the BUR maybe keep it a couple of years I took the antennas I mean I took the ADF I took the marker beacon uh, the ADF has another clock here uh, this place was empty I think uh, but I have a radio here probably it's original with nav navcom I have an icom uh, radio the transport that I have to change, so look at for another one. Uh, I don't have glove compartment because uh, somebody put a, a plate here to put these two gadgets. I, I can move around, but I want my glove box back. Uh, my my panel probably is going to go here in this empty space. Uh, I want to take... I want to take this out or maybe I don't know trying to see what's gonna happen with this I like this space but take a space from here now the seat coming here the back seat and to put stuff you have to put forward on the slide and load it and it's kind of hard I mean if you, if you see people doesn't use it that much because it's hard to get it and now I bought the STC tanks for the guys for Del Air uh, for the door, 282 American dollars, and I'm gonna make a cut here to put the baggage door. Now, the baggage door has to be purchased, and that's the more expensive. It's more around 700 dollars to get the the door with the frame. And I'm gonna do the job myself to put the frames and everything else. Into the floor, like I said before, somebody have a great idea to glue the, the carpet at some point, probably a long time ago, because this, uh, this glue is very old. And now the, new, uh, the, the carpet I have but has, has some years to i like to replace it, but I would like to use some vinyl for aviation. Uh, I don't like the, the carpet in a house or in a plane or in a car. And it will be more out back look for this uh, Canadian uh, airplane. It took me like a, an hour to clean this little spot. Another hour trying to take some of the stuff around the screws using some thinner. Something here, something here. Trying to clean most of it I can. It's you don't see it, but you know it's there, and you, you have to do something about it. And and if you don't clean it, uh, it's gonna hold moisture, eh? And like in here, you see it's corrosion, and you don't really see if, what is the damage if you don't have a clean uh, surface, or if you don't treat it. I have some corrosion in here too. I have to treat that. Um, I would like to put some some uh, pad for soundproof and insulation. It's better than fiberglass. glass. Uh, this whole fiberglass glass uh, has to go. You gotta put a new one. Uh, that can be done after my annual inspection is done. All the soundproofing, all the panels, I have to take 
this out. Wow. Some screws here. Probably, probably these screws were for the unrest, but I don't have it. I mean, the only plug in. Maybe this one were for the plugs for the headset, but they installing here who a better idea. And there was only in on eh, there was no really glue it in properly. And I don't think it's gonna make any difference. The glue I'm gonna put and it's gonna be more sticky. Better, I hope. And then my ELT is getting short. I don't like this. You see this is the old uh, style fiberglass used to have. Gonna replace for foam. <laughs> 